Welcome back, everyone, to uh, Roleplay Podcast. For those who are new uh, tuning in, we host this about once a week. Every now and then we take a week off um, as a break for me and Sab, but also uh, usually because I'm just lazy and don't want to plan one that week. Um, we host this weekly, um, and this is one of our uh, recurring topics, one of our recurring themes, which is called Noobs of No Pixel. Uh, and we, uh, me and Sab, are joined by two noobs today. You guys would like to go ahead and introduce yourselves, your channels, and your characters. Go ahead. I'm Shoto, but people know me as uh, Timothy Butler, who lost his fucking British accent because I got too tired to do that shit. But uh, some people call me Shooks, though. It's not correct. It's just S-H-X-T-O-U. I've had that shit since like four years ago, five years ago. It was just cringy, old. I was going to ask, cool. why, why have you never gotten just Shoto on Twitch? Because, like, it's it's so much of a hassle to change everything, right? Like, uh, on all my socials like that, and people already know that that's me. And it's like, if I just change it to Shoto, then it just feels weird. And if someone, like, swoops up and takes that, then it just gets a little bit more confusing. So I might as well just hold on to it, right? Yeah, it's sad. Oh, that's the safer point. I understand you. So I've had the uh, same thing. Yeah, I, I wanted to change my name from uh, S Saab to Saab. But, like you said, just a headache. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm just gonna bear with it. It's not a big deal. Hey, what's up, guys? Good morning. Oh, I see some of my guildies in there. Hello. Well, um, <clears throat> speaking of names, uh, my name is X Chocobars. Not the best Twitch name, in my opinion. Um, and do I even need to <laughs> introduce January Foos? I mean, surely oh, everyone so knows January Foos. You know what I mean. <laughs> But anyways, just in case you live under a rock, I play January Foos. So. You re you realize you are becoming you are becoming more like your character. I am. It's honestly oh really bad. It's bleeding you know, people, over, bro. I literally it's like the opposite because you know how some people play like self inserts. Like I didn't play a self insert, so I'm just slowly just becoming her. Yeah, wait, so the reverse is happening. So sassy. Yeah, and then and yep, then the then worst then thing is weird. you'll get. Uh, Ray Ray C, who has low key kind of perma developed a Russian accent, and it's the funniest shit ever. Um, oh my god! <laughs> and then it's uh, hard to turn it off. That's when you role play more than you do real life. Well, for sure, oh, that yeah. happens a lot of us. And sorry, That's our, me right now. Our last introduction, just for everyone, is here. Uh, we are also joined by our co-host, uh, who always uh puts up with my bullshit in in setting these episodes up. Um. Sab, Sab, go ahead. Introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Sab, and I play as Captain Slacks. Uh, play a PD character on No Pixel. Also, there's a No Pixel update. Yeah, big update yes, today. So, uh, exciting stuff. Uh, new clothes and all that. Ooh, is it a lot of new clothes, or is it? Because I was peeking there's at it. There's a lot of clothes for you guys. Uh, I, don't, I think the guys, I like the men. I do feel bad for like the guys, especially the guys' hair. Like, oh, guys, I know, right? so bad. We, we, need yeah. more we need more hair for sure for guys. Yeah. The lack of variety. Because um, everybody's just looking like a clone to me. I'm not going to lie. The amount of times I walk up to someone, I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Like, are you this? And it's not them. Yeah, I've been called like oh, three different people already. And it's like, nope, that's not me. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, so there, there's like, I, I'm actually really happy about the answer here because you guys have had, I, I'm pretty cool experiences i mean first of all uh i want to go back to the beginning so you guys knew that you know no pixel was gonna have a new giant update with 4.0 what made you guys be like well i want to try role play in gta what made you want to try it you can go first shadow mm, i don't know if i think it was more like it. everyone around me like especially you and psych were like talking about you know gta and uh, getting into NoPixel 4.0. I know you guys were big on it back in like 2021 and stuff, but I wasn't really friends with you guys or like that close to all of the people that do RP in our friend group during that time. And right now I was like, there's such like big hype building up for it. And I got convinced more and more by Psych, especially because he really wanted me to play. And oh. I was kind of just trying to figure out what I wanted to do during like end of December because I didn't have many games to play. During that time, I didn't know what to do for like some stream content, and I was kind of like tired from a lot of recording stuff too. Because um, for people that don't know, I do a lot of like uh, audio stuff uh, when I'm not streaming, like whether it's just recording uh, whatever narration stuff or songs. And I wanted to try something else that was kind of more 
different like get outside the box of like the kind of games and stuff i usually play and i never really rp well i that's incorrect actually i fucking rp before but that's when i play like dungeons and dragons um that's like the only time i've ever really role played is when i played uh tabletop games like that uh with my friends here and there but it's not often that i did that and so you know rp was kind of like oh something kind of kind of neat to try in the gta saying since uh i've seen clips in uh here and there from around youtube shorts and stuff building up to you know no pixel 4.0 release so yeah that's why uh that's why i wanted to give it a shot and well you know i got fucking addicted to it yeah dude this guy was i'm glad he did i'm glad he did i mean earl i think before you took your longer break you were you were playing way more you were playing more than me um also i was gonna say as a as a note um and i'm not trying to like glaze too much but i think a really helpful thing in in gta rp is actually just having a good voice um mm -hmm. then you have like a, a really good voice I mean, it shows that you do your, <laughs> your yeah like i think like a lot of people hear your voice and they're like oh oh damn but not Thank everyone you. can be blessed with a you know voice some people i think have very harsh and shrill voices that annoy people and they also can find a uh, success in role play so janet tell me about <laughs> the transition. Hi, I knew where like you were alluding to that. I knew I, what you were really. I, I knew it. Too, I knew. I had a fucking feeling. Yeah. I, immediately. Immediately. He. I saw his vision, and I knew it was coming. No. Okay. I. I need to. So I. I want to hear now your story about why you did. You decide to get into role play because Shoto, yours makes sense. And and you know what was funny is you okay, would role play. Out. No, in the Minecraft server last year, Shoto would actually role play a bunch with us. And I remember even thinking like, damn, Shoto would be great role play. Meanwhile, <laughs> someone shut up. Someone <laughs> okay, hated yes, role I was play. really against it. I thought You're it was anti -role really play. I think role. I I was you were very anti, anti. I was role play is i was role play is, Why is like that, i though? thought it was cringe oh I, okay it, <laughs> maybe it's because of the way blau does it it's just like so annoying true, true it was so i'm like trying to just like craft mine and he's at my doors making knocking sounds on his fucking soundboard and like if i would close the door on him he would make like a muffled noise like rrr, rrr, rrr. like it was just like it just like pissed me off um <laughs> and so i just thought like rp was just so cringe because of blau um oh. but when i I heard Leslie saved a name as January for me. I thought it would be super fun. And I actually wasn't even going to be January at first. I was going to make um, a different character with my friends Star Smitten and Chobo. They're, they play Smitty and Ducky, but they never wake up. They woke up that one day and they never woke up again. Um, but it helped a lot, actually, being a foos. I'm not going to lie. Like, I sometimes see hate comments being, like, another foos. But, like, it really does help new players, like, play and stay if they already have that kind of lore set in stone. And I know it's annoying to see so many. But, like, I've just seen so many people in our friend group quit. Bro, um, I'm going to be honest. I was day. close. I was close to quitting uh, not too long yeah, It's ago. tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, something happened, like, a, I think, like, last week. I felt like, oh, I'm having fun with this again. I think, like, um, because I was taking so many trips, dude. I was going to Japan and Thailand because I had my concert in Thailand. So I had to, like, perform for that. And then, like, just being out of the loop for so long. Oh, my God. Like, you had a concert? Oh, yeah. Um, it's a virtual concert as for my 3D. Oh, I see. Thing. Yeah. That's so, awesome. Yeah, thank you. It was really successful. It was awesome getting to see everybody there. But um, during all that stuff, I didn't get to RP as much, and uh, I was really lacking behind with like all the story and stuff. And then I think I came to terms with like, oh shit, I don't really need to be on the say all the time to really feel like I'm, you know, I'm there because there's like a little bit of that FOMO. Me and Ray have talked about it before, like uh, Raymond, and she told me like, yeah, she feels a lot of FOMO. And or she's gone for a while and i felt the same way and eventually i think that started getting to me just a little bit so um i think part of that and like just starting to see how much not just me but a lot of my friends were getting like criticized low-key over like people um trying to backseat their characters like i know that's like, something that happens often I'm like oh my god i don't know how they deal with this 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 feels tiring a little bit that's for so many people so i think that kind of weighed on me for a bit uh, a couple weeks ago and I was honestly considering just stop playing and going back to what I usually do like 
just focusing more on songs and uh, playing horror games and doing other kinds of collabs content, right? But then, I don't know, it kind of didn't happen. And now I'm sort I feel like I wake up and I look forward to playing GTA again right now. That's Yay! all I'm going to say. Yeah, that's good news. No, it's really good. It's really good because I can tell you for a fact that being in that position really sucks. Um, uh, GTRP has this blessing and curse. And it's one of those curses is the dare I say the word parasocial um, aspect of just how viewers see characters and the streamers behind it. And they get really, really invested and obsessed in a way where the direction of the role plays headed. And when they lose control of what's happening and how the story's going, they kind of freak out. And that's why you get a lot of hoppers and people just saying things. Yeah. One thing that I've been struggling a lot with um, is the whole gang situation stuff. Right now, I'm not like too deep into gangs or crim, but when sometimes it can get kind of serious. Do you know what I mean? And this whole like uh, snitching stuff, like I, I'm just like so new to it. And right. uh, it, it just feels very serious. And like, I don't want to RP in a serious, like anything serious. Like I just want to have fun, laugh, make jokes try to break people out of their character like that kind of stuff so that's something i try to stay away but it's tough is to not rp with crime sometimes for for you guys uh and, and there's actually a question then for both these since you brought up what with the stress of like gang stuff is it the like gang conflict rp that stresses you or and i know that uh, you can touch on that but i know shoto uh probably has some thoughts on this too what about the idea of like okay there's pre-established like groups and the idea of like joining groups does that how how has that been as you guys like variety um, streamers coming in and there's like reestablished groups uh for me <clears throat> yeah for I both feel like, of you uh, people they've had six like a lot of these pre-established groups right like cg and stuff like that uh for example like they're they want to rebuild what they had right so i get that they uh you know they kind of gravitate towards the same people again and stuff you know what i'm trying to say so but for newer players it's like a little bit harder because um i know like some people want to give more of these newer players a chance to like shine and join in and stuff like that not to say like i haven't noticed that uh those groups haven't been doing that but i think it is harder for a lot of people that were trying to you know find somewhere to fit in right mm -hmm. uh for me i thought i was gonna have that issue because i started realizing there's so many people that were gravitating towards um you know people that they've known before right and i saw that a lot because um i was you know before i came into the server i saw a lot of like clips and stuff so i was kind of familiar a bit out of character about who was like you know hanging with who but uh for me i was like damn who am i gonna fit in with since like i don't know i'm not really good at much since i've never done gta i've never played gta 5 before either this is like literally my first experience with doing gta content was doing this rp server yeah and uh finding a group or finding people that i would vibe with was probably very it was like the main thing i was trying to figure out for like two months until uh i think like you know jaeger jaeger's group uh they kind of were hitting it off with me so i felt very comfortable uh getting together with them doing some jobs because they gave me a chance they were the first people who actually um said it's okay to fuck up we don't care just keep trying and like they never made me feel like super stressed about uh messing up with like certain hacks that we've done and uh committing certain crimes together because they were very patient and uh very understanding if i you know fucked up and that was like something i know a handful of other people would be but i just didn't know who they were just the first people to offer me that semblance of like hey we get that you know you gotta learn and um you're gonna fuck up so it's okay don't worry too much about it right and i don't think i've had anyone really vocalize that to the extent that they did for so that's why i look up to um you know him a lot for helping me understand that fact you know that's pretty wholesome yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean <laughs> I that for you. so i mean so i will probably tell you that. i mean i think i think the guild uh since joining 3.0 has probably been one of the brightest like groups in in no pixel they're 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 incredible um yeah. yeah and i'm pretty sure they i i think sab wasn't the origin I, I need to get viggy on uh, viggy will probably never go on the podcast with me uh, we have a, a 
a tenuous relationship. Uh, yeah, you can we, ask him. We, we can no, ask me, him. me and Vicky have a tenuous relationship, though. Um, mm. My streaming career is basically um, at his fingertips. As soon as he decides to go live, uh, the entirety of my mod team and the entirety of my community has said that they'll just leave me to go watch him. So <laughs> he, he basically Bruh. controls my fate and my career. So he and I have a, have a, have a stressful relationship. Um, but uh, yeah, no, Vicky is... Uh, I'm pretty sure he actually... Join 3.0 literally just to like stream snipe soda popping and mess with him um and then uh yeah has gone on since then all right janet to you then mm -hmm. how, how have you found like interacting with groups because you also do get a little bit of you know unlike shoda you had a bit of lore coming into it being a food sister so. yeah so i have a lot uh it was easy for me to unlock so much easier as a foos if i go up to someone and i mention my last name it's like oh i know your sister and then i get that unlocked um so it was a lot easier for sure i felt like i fit in a lot of groups i don't think january has many enemies actually however like people she hangs out with sometimes have enemies and and so right now she's struggling to find out like um how to stay loyal or it, it, it kind of feels like a pick a side kind of thing right now um sometimes and it's getting a little tough it's getting serious huh? for me i i just want to like i just want to interact with everyone i'm not gonna lie like as the streamer ooc like i i don't want to close any doors so i haven't fully decided on anything yet but if you have any advice that'd be awesome because yeah oh i was going through that too because i think that's how it feels like for a lot of people they want to be like friendly with everyone but like the how the city works and the dynamic is it's just like it's hard Impossible. to you know make friends mm -hmm. with everybody because like the reality yeah. is like you can't really be friends with everybody like you, i guess you can interact with all of them but like you know there will be certain doors closed based on who you interact with because the thing is i've learned really fast is everyone can't be friends with everyone because there's already pre-established conflict and like I... you know some people just uh cannot with how the gang uh culture is right some people just don't want to uh you know interact with certain other people that have wronged them and stuff so it's not going to be easy to uh make friends that don't already have beef with other friends and they'll like you know try to make you choose sides and like say bullshit like oh if uh you know blah 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 shot me right would you help me and do something like this right or yeah. would you get revenge for me or have my back and stuff yeah it just makes things I've really complicated yeah. and stuff and you know it might also tarnish relationships if they put you in that position because that's just how maybe their character rps so yeah i've just come to terms with like um i'm not gonna try to be friends with everyone i will open up to people that i feel like timothy uh enjoys and like can vibe with and so far that's been giving me peace of mind to know like oh hey i don't have to stress about that anymore because i also had this uh an rp talk with uh a couple others in character about you know this type of thing where there's um you know hazel hazel was somebody that like uh -huh, tried to uh -huh. do that yeah he tried to yeah. be friends with everybody and i think that ended Hazel up like, was also tarnished. one of the people that you mentioned the would you shoot me <laughs> would you... yeah yeah <laughs> he got yeah. that yeah he, he got that treatment from like yeah Finn, i think or something yeah so. <laughs> i got that unlocked yeah i was like damn it's yeah. like that yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah yeah so that's something that's um been on my mind and january's mind yeah my first question to you is how does it feel like your family's a calendar now how, how does it feel if what? Sorry. That your family's a calendar now. I still don't understand. I'm so sorry. Oh, like your, uh, family, your family is, is a, a calendar? calendar. She doesn't oh, even realize they're named a after calendar. months. No, no, no. <laughs> sorry. I, I just like it said it's a, I couldn't register. No, it's um, my fault. Oh, no, no, no. It's not your fault. I, I honestly think it's so fun. Um, It... <laughs> I think, uh, you know, like the, I unlocked the Ben Jingle dance or whatever, or Jingle dance. Oh. That is oh, the dance. so, oh yeah, the dance. Oh, it's dance. Because of you, oh, because of dance, Mickey. Bro. I'm so Dude, yeah. about oh my God. When Benji <laughs> was camouflaged as a Dan and I look over and he's just doing the dance with the, <laughs> with the hat. It was so good. I, I like, I think like stuff like that is so lighthearted and fun. And it's just like. A mass of people who are in the same family just kind of similar and i would love to see us do like group things like a heist like a foos fam heist or like 
I don't know, just run around together and do little things like that. Um, but I don't always want to be in their storyline 24 seven is the thing. Like I hope all the foos fam doesn't feel pressured to always be there for each other. Yeah. Bro, it's all, oh, sorry. No, no. I was gonna say, I think it's all, it's also like good to like, yeah, yeah, you can have that like relationship there, but then you can, you know, go and make your own character stuff. And I think also some of the, I actually don't know if Sab knows this. I think Shona, you might know this. Um, some of the Foos family is like what what I would say are like occasional characters, right? Like yeah. Burn right. Yeah. Burn is only gonna come in on March like once in a blue moon. And that's also how I plan to play uh Sab doesn't I I will be playing a December Foos and uh yeah, December will come in like December. I, I play yeah. the I, I'll be playing the oldest brother uh December. Um uh, my biggest reason actually for only doing that a little bit is uh like as a once a month sort of thing is I have to I'll probably spend all month gathering the willpower and the strength to be nice to Foosley and uh Janet uh because I, I have to actually <laughs> well, that's my hardest us. role play it's challenge by the way I'm I'm it I'm, I'm, I'm practicing I have I don't to be know nice how to it's gonna be weird what? it's gonna be weird you said December being the oldest brother shouldn't it be the youngest in December or how does that work exactly just the years, just just decided. Just, just foods fam, yeah. Sab. I don't know. Just foods <laughs> fam, yeah. Um, um, and speaking of, we should definitely make like a group chat for for the stuff. Um, maybe we could do like a podcast about foods fam too, because honestly, like we gotta get our lore figured out. <laughs> Um, I don't know what's going on sometimes, and that would be nice. Okay, well, not to turn this into the the Foos fan. All <laughs> oh, right, podcast, yes, yes. But but, true, true, so sorry. but I will I will say at, at at the hockey game last night, uh, Leslie did say she is making a group chat for you guys. Perfect. Uh, you go. Problem and solved. she did ask to, do, and, and we 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 chatted about doing a, a podcast. Bro, but this what is not, months aren't taken yet. Uh, uh, June, July, August. October, November. Four. Ooh, July, yeah. October, November. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. Um, oh, but going back to what you, to you said, oh, God, Blau, you want to say something? No, no, Sab, you, you cue up the next question. Go ahead. Well, just, I was, I was going to add on to what uh, Choco was talking about. Like, mm -hmm. the thing about No Pixel is pretty cool is sometimes you're running into like South Park like characters and you can be a group that is like silly and you just want to do have fun and be a comedic relief for a lot of people and just go around and, and have that right that could be role play as that character and there's nothing wrong with that so and much. we love that i love that as a it's cop so person. much yeah. flavor I, that just i could comes in here and there exactly i can tell you as a police officer and role playing on no pixel as pd i love running into characters like like yours for example right because you give me that comedic relief that i go from having a stressed out job of dealing with like pursuits and chases and shootouts and People are getting angry to go into somebody who just wants to have fun, who wants to laugh, who wants to have that little, you know, back and forth, and they just move on with their life. And I'm mm -hmm. all for that. I love it. Thank you. I, I'm glad. Thank God. Sometimes I'm like, am I being annoying <laughs> to these cops? I have a whole song for the cops now. Oh, the okay. The That's police, exciting. The police are here. You'll <laughs> unlock it one day. The police, <laughs> the police, the police are here. The police are here. And I floss. Yeah. Um. I, I'm curious. So this is, uh, and and this will, for reference, Sab, like <laughs> we're coming from like role playing in Minecraft, where like, uh, yeah, you know, when we were doing like Minecraft role play, like we can like little. I I, I try to be an antagonist in in Minecraft to them, but then we all end up doing the same like dungeon together, and we're hanging out. Uh, touching off something that like both of you guys brought up, like have how has it been now? Like have you guys encountered like actual conflict, and like how did you deal with that? Because I think one of the big differences for a lot of the variety streamers that come into GTA is that like, yeah, if we role play in like other games, it's still very friendly and amical. Like I say, it's like Minecraft, everyone holds hands and sings Kumbaya at the end of the day. But you know, this is GTA and there's like, there's beef, there's like tension. Yeah. Uh, how, how have you guys dealt with that? Not well, not dealing with it well, I'm not gonna oh, lie. I think like one of my first weeks, I had like a little beef thing go on with uh, Saikuno's character, right? Because um, I thought it'd be like, try to, nice to like get experience then with like a little bit of a uh, conflict RP, right? And uh, it went pretty well, uh, in my opinion, for both of their characters, because they ended up resolving it. But holy shit, bruh, the, the fans. <laughs> Oh. I was not prepared for that. That was my yeah. like rude awakening to like people 
backseeing the character or like criticizing me or criticizing him and it was just yeah. like really nasty to see like yeah. that for the first time and mm. i just was not prepared to see like all of that side of GTRP because like I was kind of oblivious at that point. You gotta understand like coming into this, it was like my first week or like week and a half into a GTRP, and I thought like hmm, th I wasn't really fully aware of uh, was it the landscape of the fans that consume the content, and it it's very uh, it can be very volatile, right? Because mm -hmm. um, people will come after you if in and like you know say the weirdest shit if uh they think like your character doesn't make sense for behaving a certain way or like they say like uh maybe you ruin someone else's rp when it's like wait bro i'm i just this is like my first week into all this stuff too and like uh who are you to tell me like how my character behaves right when yeah. they don't know my character so that's like something i learned to uh deal with i'd say like that that gave me real tough skin real quick after that Honestly, I'm proud of you for getting tough skin quick. Like, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I think, like, as a person, I usually do have tough skin, but I think that was really surprising. It, like, came out of nowhere mm. at, for me. Like, that was so fucking shocking, not gonna lie. I think I would you know, like, cry kind of if people told me that I was ruining someone's RP because of my RP. Don't say cry. that out loud. It's someone said that. <laughs> you think they're gonna do it? 100%. Well, I, I will get one guide. And, and, and now that yeah, I said go. it, hey, maybe I'll just think, you know, they watch this podcast and they're just doing it to spite me. True. So maybe it's, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, I was, I was going to say, like, Shoto, I actually do think you have pretty, pretty thick skin. And having gone through you know, being a new back in, in the 3.0 days, I, I thought you like, you jumped into the fire of, of stuff pretty quick with some of that, which was, uh, yeah, I was, I was, I wanted in, I was to impressed, get that but worried for you. Yeah. Yeah. Like I wanted to jump in and get that experience personally. Cause like, I thought you might as well like see how it is too. And like, so I can learn as well and get that experience, but man, people aren't very willing to like be generous and understanding of that. If they're outside of like the understanding, since they don't know, I don't do RP as much. I don't know my character, and uh, they didn't understand like you know all the perspectives for that, and that's like definitely yeah. something to worry about if um you're new to RP, right? Yeah, well, and for both of you, I I do want you guys to acknowledge uh, the the co-host of this podcast, Sab. This man is a is immune. He is, he is, he is, he has <laughs> reached a say, you guys know an avatar when, uh, Aang like un unlocks his like chakras, <laughs> like that his is, avatar state or what? that is Sab. Sab has unlocked all of the chakras and is in a place of Zen. This guy, I, I, Sab, I actually don't know how, like this guy has tanked so much hate. I mean, you're last... police, you know, like I, I already, I'm not even police. And whenever I run into like any gang related things or crime stuff, like, whoo. It's spicy. It really is. So I can't imagine as a cop, like if you do capture one of the members and if they're well known, the kind of spice that comes at you. <laughs> eee. The uh, tale is all this time. Cops versus, uh, you know, criminals, right? And then you get the hoppers. I think the worst time I've ever had it in 4.0 is when we had uh, Gene Paul and Mr. K. We're trying to raid both of them. I had the Juicers and the Chain Gang come to my channel oh both at the same my. time. Oh. It was like nukes were coming down to my channel. I think I peaked like maybe like 35k, and it was like just it was just my chat. I couldn't even read my chat. It was like just nonstop till we put in sub mono, of course. But it was crazy. That was probably the craziest day of 4.0. So Holy shit! Damn. Yeah, both of them come out. Oh my god, dude. I don't know. Yeah, I can't it was watching like that. nukes come down to my channel. I've never seen anything like that. It was a social experiment for sure. Sorry, I have social to Social experiment. I'm, I'm, I'm contractually obligated by myself and, and Sab to do these uh, uh, cringe uh, ad reads for. Uh, so, oh, wait. Sab just mentioned uh, the, the age old battle of cops versus crims. Well, you too can check out the cops versus crims episode on Roleplay Podcast. That's right, go to YouTube, at Roleplay Podcast. We are also on all of your favorite podcasting networks. I recently looked, we actually have like 200, I think like subscribers on Spotify, which is kind of crazy. That's Roleplay Podcast. And as everyone in the YouTube comments consistently reminds me, we do not have good enough crim perspectives on uh, the podcast, so. Every single time, every so, single time. So me and Sab are working closely 
to bring to you a future episode that is going to be called the Crim episode, where Sab will get five v one by by Crims. Uh, so that oh, that's what else? Oh my god! Five v one. What the hell? Yeah. Well, I mean, so so I, I mean, so part of that, and, and this brings me now, so transitioning back to to you guys. So I, I think both of you guys. I, I'm curious, sort of what what sort of directions and role play that have interested you guys as characters because something that's pretty like you guys would your characters are technically crim characters but um you know what, what sort of mm -hmm. role play routes are you guys like now most interested in pursuing or what sort of enticed you on the server oh god that's that's a loaded question let me think about that okay Janet, well you can go for first. me yeah, yeah 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 for me well okay i might go off the like what was the question <laughs> Yeah, what, what's, I mean, what kind of content or stuff on the server is interesting to you? Yeah, like, where, where are you going next um, now that you're here? Um, yeah, I mean, right now, like, I actually have my eyes set on making money. However, I also don't want to just keep doing G6 and stuff. Like, I also, sometimes if someone hits me up, they're like, let's go roof running. Sab, don't listen to this. Let's go roof running or, like, choppy. <laughs> I'm like, ooh, like, I, I want to experience that, you know, because I'm so new to that still. Um. And uh, so I take it up, but but then like sometimes people are like, oh, sevens to your G6 and stuff. And it's like, yeah, but like, you know, I don't want to like be stuck doing that forever, even though it makes like the most money. I just like find it boring and I want to dive in more to other things like crime and stuff because it's fun. Why is crime so fun? Like the mini games? Like, it's just like Those are really nice. Yeah, I've been liking so the fun. hacks a lot. They're, honestly, yeah. all of them. It's like there's, I don't know. It, that's the only thing that gets my heart racing there. Oh, yeah. Really like chase. There's nothing like it. I yeah. know. The chase is so, oh, man. It's so, it's so. Uh, one thing that, oh, oh, like me, I'm getting in the way of January's character is that, like, I don't want to rob other people. And um, so right now I'm making January not do that. But eventually I do want to try that. But I feel like I'm going to feel so guilty because I know what it's like to be robbed. But it's the way of life, right? <laughs> um, Honestly, if you give people role play back on robbery, they'll enjoy it. If, if you just walk okay. up to them, hey, you, put your hands up and you just do oh, the animation. Oh, no, yeah, of them, course. If but... you actually do like the the, 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 the Foo's RP of just who you, the character is all about, I think yeah. people enjoy that unique aspect of the interaction. They feel like they're getting something out of it instead of just like losing an item. At least I got role play out of it, too. Okay. Okay. Uh, here's the thing that happened to me in the past few days is like every time I've gotten like okay I've gotten robbed like maybe twice of like maybe a couple like dollars and stuff but every time there's been like no role play from the other guy they didn't really care to do it it's just been uh... constantly coming up to me right it, it, I think it's been different people each time but all they want is just to like make a quick buck and then run away. And I'm like, really? No, no RP. Who is it? Tell me their name right now. No. <laughs> Tell me their name right now. Oh, no, Sam, I actually, Sam. Them. Sam, you need, to, you need to hear this. I actually have a theory about uh, about Shoto. And I, I, this, this, here we come in with some, some hot take for the podcast. I think Shoto gets these weird, like, non-RP robberies with, when you're off stream. Like I literally think it's because you're and and your character tends to be like masked out and like kind of like look like mm. it's sort of any character and like I so I show I'm gonna be honest Shoto gets a lot of like weird like non RP robberies that not to like get into too much but I know like there's also some semi rule breaks that occurred with them um that that were remedied for you not that this isn't Shoto breaking the rules but I know like I think someone like took like the house key off you when like you're not supposed to do that Ouch. anymore and. Yeah, but someone took my house key, bro. <gasps> oh, and uh, it yeah. kind of sucked for a little bit. I'm like, bro, you, you don't, you really want to do that? Like, please. But then they just didn't, they're like, I don't fucking care, right? And they just took everything from me except my phone. I, I don't like, care. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what they said. I don't care. It's like, bro, <laughs> come on. Yeah, I, I do think when it comes to robberies, one thing that, like, yeah, you know, so again, this episode's noobs of no picks. But at the end of the day, I mean, you guys are, you know, it's, it's Shoto and, and X Chocobars. Like, you guys are massive creators in your own right coming into no pixel then when you're streaming and when you have your your community like people will actually treat you differently but that's why i actually think a good test case of this is shoto getting robbed because he's like off stream grinding i always it's i never tend to get robbed like whenever i'm on stream right like i never see it but then whenever i'm off uh offline trying to like you know sort my shit out or like figure out different outfits maybe or just like you know uh chill 
like work and interact then that's when i see like the weirdest robberies happen because there's just no substance to it they just come up take my shit and then just fuck off mm -hmm. i'm like all right okay i would hate that but yeah I, it, and, it sucks a lot and yeah i was Ouch. just say when, you, when you're ready to rob people like I, yeah that it's it's what sab said just put rp around it um and 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 know that know that not ever it's also like somewhat kind of reading the room know that like not everyone doesn't like being i love being robbed um i purposefully yeah, robbed you the other tell. day he <laughs> robbed you yeah okay yeah, so, so when i said was i wasn't gonna robbed rob there. anyone i uh i did rob mickey but i felt more comfortable doing it to mickey because like i don't know it's an loc thing kind of but um but also, I had a good plan about it. There was there was RP involved in my defense. Oh, it, was so, it, was, it was so funny, bro. It was but then awesome. he shot at me. <laughs> oh yeah, then, bro. And uh, yeah, Mickey shot at Timothy, which is crazy. Um, but you didn't know it was how me. How dare though, you? Right? Did, I, wait, did Mickey know Timothy? There's no way, right? Uh, no. Oh, uh, okay. that that is by the way, and this maybe gets us into another topic. Is like, since you guys have new viewers, separating the character and the viewer. So I'll explain that. Uh, I do not. I, I always role play as dumb. I think it is way better to role play as a character, yeah. not as a big brain. Like, I, I, it's so like I've been robbed. I think by like Rami, um, by you guys. I will never. And, and my rule is this: if they have a mask, and if they at least slightly disguise their voice, I will not try to be like, oh, that sounds like, oh, that could be. I never try to like piece it together, right? Like I could oh, yeah. be like. Huh, why did I just get robbed at a bank right after January gave me money? Yeah. I'll never do that. I'll always just assume that like I'll play dumb with it. So that I agree with being you. said, yeah, how mm -hmm. have you guys yeah. explained that to your viewers? The oh, idea of like there's your yes. character so, versus you. I just say January is very naive because she's 18, as you all know, that I say like a million times. But she, yeah, she's just naive. And then so like sometimes, like obviously, OOC, you know, someone's evil and have bad intentions. But like I make January just go through with it. Like, oh, someone sketchy calls and is like, meet me here. It's like, okay, I'll go, <laughs> you know, just for the content because <laughs> I love it. I think it's fun. Um, it's a good time. So. Yeah. yeah, my character, um, the lore, little bit of lore I give him, it's kind of difficult. I just made him like an overthinker, right? So uh, he tends to, I try to get into that headspace of like, you know, overanalyzing, over like being overly, uh, what, it, it, I dissect like the situation too much, right? So it's been a little bit difficult to like, what, make sure he um, doesn't do that with like anyone that robs him. Like, here's the thing though, so far I've never been like, Oh wait, is this is this so and so? Wait, is that you? Blah blah blah, right? Uh, because again, if they do disguise themselves and they do like you know try to sound mm -hmm. different, then I'm I'm the same case as you, blah. It's like I Timothy doesn't know who they are. Like I might know who they are myself, right? So it makes it a little bit difficult since being a new RP here. It I don't I might be what compelled to RP it or like interact with them like a little bit more casually or uh a little bit more like uh what as if like i know them right so i know it's not gonna be a big deal but that's like the hardest thing is like trying to separate oh shit this person i know them right but uh i'm also trying to role play like i don't know who they are and trying to be like <clears throat> a little bit more afraid than usual or a little bit more put off and pissed off about it than i should I gotta be gotta get but, better at that yeah. i'm definitely it's hard man it is really it's difficult. hard it's <laughs> hard kind of excites me when I see someone that I know. I'm like, I know this. Yeah, I got to do that. Honestly, yeah, I should give yourself a lot of credit for how well you're role-playing. I remember my first time coming to an RP server. God, I was so bad. I couldn't even put two sentences together sometimes because I was so nervous. And you guys are coming <laughs> in there just, um, you know, doing well in improv, talking to people, being able to fit in so well and being a character in the server. I mean, give yourself some credit, right? Give yourself some flowers for sure. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. That means a lot, Vera. Oh my god. Yeah, claps in the chat to both of you guys because you guys have stuck with it and done a pretty incredible job. Um, now to a uh, a fun spicy question: relationship RP. We have the role players behind Timothy Butler and Captain Slacks. Ooh, the t well, I didn't actually Mickey wait. Um, how have you guys? How have you guys found uh, doing like? Re and I know, and and to you too, Jan. We'll get to you because. Both of you guys have actually done like a little bit of relationship RP or like at least like light flirting, stuff like that. How do you guys find that RP? 
Uh, well, um, I think Janet has had more experience with that. Yes, for sure. yes, yes. But for me, me, for me, it's like I've just been kind of um going with the flow of it. Like I think that Timothy's character is uh I, I I'm not a fan of relationship RP, so I try to avoid it with him. He's actually like mm -hmm. I don't know. He came into the city like not interested in anybody. Like who knows that could change. But um, I wanted to use that as an excuse to like not delve into that ever because it makes things really i'm not i don't have enough experience with it i haven't seen people do really ship rp that much so i'm kind of just like trying to you know soak it in a little bit more too and maybe something will change with him i'm just gonna let it like whatever happens happens with him and mm -hmm. uh right now he's just not really interested in many people like that he's more so just having fun right for the sake of having fun yeah um, I'm so sorry, Zab. Well, for me. Oh, wait, what happened with Sav? Wait, what? what? Oh, because I see. Don't worry, both... hey, get in line. January is also. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, so Gary's someone... not interested in Timothy, is she? Um, she's kind of interested in everyone. So she oh. basically flirts with everyone, technically, because um, she thinks that like she's hot shit. And that like everyone secretly like a love is in love with her and loves her um because she's a fooz and like that's just how she was raised to everyone in her family is probably just like you're so beautiful perfect all this all that kind of deal so yeah she just flirts back with everyone because she thinks it's like her being nice um but for relationship rp jam that was uh, okay, so um, I yeah, stopped share with share OOC. with the pod. Give us, give yeah. us the quick, oh, give us the quick I don't even version. Know where to begin. Okay, uh, well, for me, I OOC. By the way, I uh, I love watching like reality TV, like trash TV, and a lot of the trash TV is related to love. Love is blind. Bachelor, Bachelor. Oh my god, love is blind. Uh, Oh, yeah, Love Island, like all of that. Like I watch all of that. So it's all about love. Even sometimes Selling Sunset has a bit of romance in it. You know what I'm trying to say? So mm -hmm. like, that's just how I role play because it's all I know because I think it's fun and it is fun. Don't, you can't tell me otherwise. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but then like, I don't want to role play as a character who has her happily ever after basically. Um, so she would kind of shit stir and obviously be unreasonable, but that was for the content. However, like, uh, I would feel bad for the other pixel character. And I would read comments. And they're like, I feel so bad for him and stuff like that. And I'm like, I feel bad too. And I just like, I couldn't do it any longer. Like, I, I don't think I'm ready to do relationship RP because of I myself feel bad for being such a bad girlfriend in RP, basically. Bro, I've, I've, I've been avoiding little, it because I don't want to break hearts and stuff like that. Yeah, you know? like she's a heartbreaker. And so that's why. And so right now she just flirts with everyone. It's lighthearted and just, yeah, stuff like that right now. Like, yeah, she doesn't stir like too, too hard because like I end up feeling bad right now. Mm -hmm. So until I get thicker skin, we're holding that off. Nice. <laughs> And how do you feel about saying shit that's absolutely out of pocket and just totally not I love okay it. to oh break my God. your friends? Oh my. It's so fun. It's so fun. I love seeing my friends or, or other people break character because of what January Freshly said. Or 18. It, it's so <laughs> good. It's, it's like my favorite <laughs> that, thing. Like, that I threw love me it. off I love so it many so times. Much. It's just like, uh, I don't know what um, to say to that. Sab, I don't know if you saw anything, but my first time getting detained, I was so, I think I broke that guy's character. It was bad. And it was my favorite club. thing ever. It was my favorite thing ever. He was like, I'm just going to reach in and get the, get the knife. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I consent. And then, um, and then she just started yelling, oh my God, stop touching me. <laughs> oh my God. No. <laughs> it was so, it was good. It was so good. You broke him, bro. Oh my I God, broke I him. That. He was laughing. I yeah. loved it. I mean, I, was, I purposefully made Mickey gay so that I don't have to deal with any of the, <laughs> I, I like, I, I'll be honest. This is like an OOC thing. I made Mickey gay to not deal with relationship RP unless it's like something that I opt into. Like light flirting, about him. Light flirting with Timothy. Uh, maybe yeah. like flirting it's with Slacks fun. eventually. That's, it's so funny. Yeah, I like to do like this. I, see, I like to not do relate. I like to do Sundere light flirting is how I do the relate. I purposefully avoid. And then Janet is a 
fucking flirting with Mickey, even though I have to, and I have to say Mickey's gay, and you still do it, and it, I hate it. I fucking hate it. January's January, you know. I, no matter what sexuality or whatever, she just like in denial. <laughs> Honestly, oh. if somebody's done relationship RP for like what? Brad for two years? Oh, no more. I'm done. I'm retired. Mm. What about it? Did this ever get better? Was it? Did uh, you feel bad? Yeah. Like no, it, it was. It was fun. The role play was fun. It wasn't about the role playing game. It was about the OOC, and people started getting really, really uh, obsessed with it in a way to where like it was almost like a love is blind kind of relationship, right? Where like people were watching and they were giving hate for what's happening, depending on the outcome, what happens. It's almost like. People had this like something in their mind as far as what they wanted in their head. And if you didn't play it out a certain way, they would get really angry. Okay, yeah, yeah, that was happening to me. But except oh, for because it's not going against it's not it's going not, with, like, it, it, Yeah, anymore. like it's not a happily ever after. I think people Correct. love seeing happily ever afters. Um, but like once you if you really think about it, once you reach happily ever after, then what? Yeah, then you know what? what I mean? Then what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm just and I'm so new, so I'm not ready to like then what? You <laughs> know? Yeah, that's, that's why I prefer the like, will they, won't they? Ooh, the tension for years to come, who knows? Yeah. Um, I, I was gonna ask this, uh, how have you guys found, I mean like, and you guys can be real here and, and like give me your honest things. How have you guys now found the role play communities? And we, we talked a little bit about chats before, but how has role, like the role play communities been for you guys? Positives, negatives, what are your thoughts? Only positive. Ooh. I mean, you can hmm. tell it's positives for me because I play like so much. Yeah, so, the thing is, mainly positive. that's the reason why. Like, remember when I told you guys, like, I was starting to, you know, falter and not want to RP. It's the very because the people I interact with and RP with helped, you know, spark it back up and uh, make me interested in, you know, giving it a second shot. And I've been, you know, enjoying it. Yay. So, like, I've been giving it more of a chance offline than uh, with my. Eyes on. I was gonna say it with my eyes out, while I'm streaming, right? See, the <laughs> fucking language flows over, and I hate that shit. I'm like, oh, I'm I'm gonna go into my head for a bit. I'm gonna, oh, I have to respond to an email. Yeah. Like, Shut up. I'm actually just texting someone. Dude, it's no, I never say like, hey, are you gonna go online later? I say, are you gonna wake up? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, the, fuck I don't yeah, the lingo yeah. gets stuck with oh, you all the God. time because the way you speak. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, like I was saying, um, with the people that I interact with, they've helped it a lot. So overall, I'd say like everyone is uh, super understanding, especially since a lot of people know that I'm still relatively new to this. And like when I interact with people that have been around for maybe years and have been, you know, role playing for a majority of their life, whereas I haven't, it has been nice to, uh, you know, have that uh, understanding because um, that's one quality I like in people a lot is that the fact that they can be understanding and patient as fuck and that's like something I really um, value when it comes to uh, you know just the people I interact with or um, even people that are in like different communities and stuff like that it's it's very it takes a big load off for sure and um, I mean I have seen the negative sides of the RP community too but I still believe that the positives do outweigh the negatives for me but you know, it's not always easy to see the negative part of it. And like, just, especially when it's towards people you care about, you know, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. the, the biggest thing for me when it's towards people I care about, I'm like, oh shit. I know. I feel you. I feel you. Uh, okay. Well, speaking about like, I, mean, I'm, I, I love asking this question of, of our noobs of no picks. We asked this one on the last episode. So you guys come into the GTA, no picks. have there been like characters that you've run into that you were like, wow, like just like blown away by them. Like who, who is like really the, what, what sort of experiences with characters have you been like, holy shit, like that's crazy. Like, like that's a really good, crazy, like a really good character. Yeah. I think Breckers is awesome. <laughs> Breckers is great. Oh my yeah. Gosh. He's so great. Like I, I have so much respect for that guy because, um, I meet a lot of characters that are just like, <laughs> main character um, vibes you know what i mean and the, he's just there for the content like it's all never a dull moment with him he's a support character uh, i think i yeah. met him two three years ago on red dead rp he was playing as an old man that would make shit milk and eventually would drink it and then die over time and then like we buried him in like a little bush <laughs> afterwards what the fuck right <laughs> that was him that was his character so actually uh, yeah it was an old and then he would call it chunky milk to everybody. He would sell it. He would sell his own shit milk to other people in town. 
What the hell, bro? Yep, that was that's how I met him on Red Dead, and yeah. then we bu yeah. got him over in No Pixel. Yeah. I have a I'm, I'm, I have a theory about Dim Oak. He is the secondary character. Like he is a side character to so many characters. And at, while everyone on No Pixel wants to be the main character, Dim Oak is consistently being a side character to so many characters. And in doing so, Wreckers is the main character of 4.0. Thank you. That's my thesis. <laughs> I don't. I, I, I love I, it. I'm here for it. I, yeah. I would love to see him as a main character as well. Like he deserves it. I think he's like a hero. Like, I also think I don't know. Um, it's March awesome. Who's the little. Oh my God. Yeah. Him. Yeah. It's. I only got to interact with him for like one day and really observe it. I'm just like, holy shit. This guy's so good at what he does. What's his name? It was like Burns or something. Right. He made me um, want to look up his other content. Right. And I saw like everything he did from 3.0 and i think seeing his rp as that fucking cyberpunk dude made me lose it like he's johnny silverhand johnny, yeah, johnny silverhand, silverhand was oh my god oh my god that was an error burn, burn is rare talent for sure on our server he's so rare talent, talent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. january or sorry, i just called it january Ooh! oh you did the thing you did the thing that you gave her shit for what the fuck? <laughs> yo you hypocrite january Jan Jan it. <laughs> Okay, okay, chills. Okay, Janet, ex Choco of ours. Uh, uh -huh. actually, I actually, I highly recommend you go and uh, I highly recommend you go and watch because uh, I see you watching some of the old stuff from like Theborn. Your yeah. community would love watch just any of the like small bits of Burn as Johnny Silverhand. It will Please. blow your it will blow your mind. The, the I'll way do it he, right after this podcast. Yeah, it's actually crazy. Good. Uh -huh. Like, bro, I'm so excited. He, I've never really. God, I wish I could interact with that dude. Like, uh. In 3.0, but I don't think he's a is he harping much in uh, uh he does voice acting. He, he wakes up. Oh, he's a voice actor too. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, I could see yeah. it. Yeah, he's he's really good. Um, he's definitely so like, bro. He's engaged in the car in the community. I mean, so Burn actually helped me design uh, December. Uh, ah. yeah, so uh, he's around doing stuff, but he he only comes into no pixel sort of uh, sporadically with different characters. Um, Seems oh, like he tries things at no pixel for like future projects. That's what yeah. I noticed. Like he'll come in and try like a completely different character. Whoa. This man's a genius. Yeah, dude. Like that's that's the kind of RP that I'm just like, wow. How do you? Yeah, he's so fucking good. How do you get that good? Like just years of experience or what? Yeah. Does he uh, say like some people just have a knack for it? Or is it uh, just well, we should invite him to the podcast. <laughs> actually, actually, that's crazy because here on Roleplay Podcast, who's this legendary role player that they keep referencing? Wow, it'd be really cool if we could hear from Oh my god, that's right. On Roleplay Podcast episode, I forgot which one it is. We talked to Burn about how to make a character in No Pixel. That's right. Burn was on Roleplay Podcast. That's Roleplay Podcast on YouTube and on all your favorite podcasting channels. We have that episode. Thank you so much. Uh so Shoto, uh Yes, Janet, sure. uh, would you guys, do you guys have any thoughts about other, uh, like, are you still, like, really wanting to pursue this one character, or do you guys have thoughts about making another character? Oh, I've, I've thought about it, yeah, for sure. I just I've don't know, I've like, thought about it, too. I can't be Foos forever. Yeah. Uh, I also like want to make, like, one-off characters, like, characters just to, like, have fun with that's not Foos-like. Like, I want to challenge myself with different personalities. I think I'm like people do those joke characters. I want to give that a shot too. You know, like mm -hmm. um, uh, Sab, you were mentioning like there's those groups of people that like come in and do some crazy shit and it works, right? But right, it's like I don't know what I would do. I think I'd have to talk to people beforehand because I, I feel like I could totally do it by myself if I wanted to. But I think it's easier if you have people that are on the same page as you and are willing to, you know, do it like this little dynamic and like bring it along throughout the city for fun and stuff. But you know, you gotta think about what you really want to do with that, and I don't know exactly. That's the other character that I want to make, and I don't know when I'll do that. Uh, because I like Timothy a lot, and um, I want to uh let him grow first and really feel out, you know, grow with him in RP before I, you know, mm -hmm. branch out to. Yeah, uh, I would definitely make like a like a one life or like a one time character that is like suited for like a certain theme or like an event you guys are trying to do. And then focus mm -hmm. on like one main character. That way, you don't feel like you have to split up too much of the time in between. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. well, that's a good idea. I, I I played Mickey for a very long time before 
making additional characters and also you guys are welcome to have like one thing that you guys should know is like you guys can also if you want to keep your main character you can reset your main character that were like just change things about them and like do bigger things i had mickey really oh dude i changed a lot of stuff dude all you have to do i see you your character or have or basically force some event and then have them change it's totally fine i, I changed Whoa. mickey a lot over the course of the last i don't know a few years so if you guys ever want to like it, it's not bad to like go and change your characters and if you want like i think a lot of maybe newer role players no pixel don't think about this you guys can even like message someone ooc to set up some scenario if you wanted to force a change on your character it's totally fine to do that you know he's really good at playing like well yeah you know he's really good at playing like 10 characters in one like a, a mr k for example like a lord kevin who's got like a one character he doesn't play other characters right but he makes his character become other characters and the uh, clothing style uh, changes you could do that you could transform your character into different ways you don't have to always go down the same path oh, right so his character is rping basically <laughs> no that's exactly what's going on that's Dude. so good yeah when, when they um I, I i remember this like and again it's still it still feels like mr k but when i think it was like when either like weed or cocaine came out in 3.0 and and he might even do this arc again in 4.0 but he switched to this whole arc that was instead of chang there was changaloa cartel and he just like it's like still mr k but it's like it's like you're watching a spinoff show of Mr. K as like a as like a drug lord. Like, yeah, narcos. Uh, so, yeah, yeah exactly. it's like a narcos drug lord, and it's really cool how he does it. Um, and then he, yeah, it feels like a completely different character, but it's still the same model, right? And he's even done a whole arc. He did a whole arc with the police department actually in 3.0, where he was Detective K, and his character was an actual detective with the police department. Um, so yeah, you guys are welcome to like. <laughs> change your characters do different stuff with them it's like yeah I and mean, that's totally fun um i i do have to ask a question for both of you so this is like a uh, two-part question um because the podcast as the youtube comments remind me is basically sponsored by the lspd uh because we're a pro cop con uh podcast <laughs> how have you guys found interacting with uh the cops of no pixel because i think that's like that was my next question but take a black i'm sorry for stealing it well sab can sab can grill you on this one no because no no no, no, no. It, no, you, no, no. you should you should do the well, follows because this is an interesting one okay 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 well um come out with it timothy the bad and the good i mean yeah yeah okay so i have been arrested like twice already right uh, <laughs> because of some minor fuckers. So I was doing a roof running job with uh, you know and uh, with Lottie one time, and it was in a hot spot. I think Cornwood was like pretending to eat lunch or taking a nap in his car nearby, <laughs> but we decided to do it anyways or some shit because we thought it'd be funny and give it a, give it an attempt, right? It's like okay, just you know, his idea was to go. He's gonna go distract him. Me and Lottie were gonna go on the roof and try to get shit done. Uh, I managed to get. A bunch of um of the hvac units up there this is when uh, roof running was kind of fresh and it was like really hot right. with the the cops and stuff like that so we were taking a big risk with this and it ended up um not going as well as you as we thought right because there was a bunch of cops flooding the area as soon as the alarm went off because we didn't we were still trying to figure out what triggers the alarm and what didn't and uh i think I, I felt really fucking sick for this. I as soon as um it, it happened because I'm still baby criminal or Timothy's still baby criminal. Well, mm -hmm. technically me too because since I'm still learning, I uh just there was like a clothing store right by because it was this um this roof area behind May's bank and there's like this, I think it was on top of the clothing store. So there's this hole that you can like jump down into and jump into the front of the clothing store. I go in, change out. I'm like, okay, I'm fine. I'm clean. Wait, I still have the shit on me. Cornward pulls up on me. At, in front of the clothing store, right? Uh, I think he f just found everything that was on me uh, because he had to frisk me and shit since it was suspicious. He found all this stuff I had, and I had, I had to like, uh, you know, pretend because I didn't know what to do at the time. I was like, oh god, do I have to like? Maybe I should just li keep lying about it and stuff. But uh, so I did lie about it. I was like making this <laughs> this whole thing up where I was like, oh, I'm going out on a date. That's why I'm dressed this nicely. Oh, I found this stuff in the back of the store. I was like, finders keepers, right? And uh, they still had to take me in and question me and shit because I was found with those illegal goods and st stuff like that. I think my friends got away, but then I was, we were having a, in, what was it? Cornwood was grilling me for like two to three hours, I think. 
<laughs> because oh my I would not. God. <laughs> yeah, I would not relent because I didn't know what to do here. I was like, wait a second. Oh shit. Um, maybe <sighs> because he was gonna put like higher charges on me because of it. Mm -hmm. Then I realized, oh shit, this is bad. Wait, the longer we keep this going, the more like he's gonna escalate the charges and i'm like oh shit this is not good and my lawyer was like bro maybe we should just take the first charge and just call it a day because this is not mm -hmm. looking good for us we could win the court case if you're willing to go through a court case over this i'm like i don't think timothy is willing to go through this court case this is already too much so then we just decided to circle back and like take the initial fine and i realized i just lost three hours of my time to this but it was a learning experience for sure because i learned a lot from that and what the cops have to deal with because i got an inside perspective of like you know how they can be there for hours upon hours like mm -hmm. stuck inside the lspd like just uh you know having to um you know question someone or like do paperwork and whatever You're right so i was patient, like holy I shit swear. i felt like i, I was fold. part of the yeah i did it i did it <laughs> i did it <laughs> it's not like squeaks right now he was the same way. After two hours, like, I give up. Guilty. Send me in. <laughs> I can't. I yeah, can't. after two to three hours, I was like, this is, no, I've learned. Okay, this makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> why people just confess and just go oh, on with their day, right? Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, it's unfortunate that you, you felt like you just had to, like, you know, just because you were there for such a long time. I wish there was a way to where it could be a bit of back and forth where it's gonna be more fun it could be more enjoyable where like regardless of the outcome either w no or there L. was back and forth we there was like good back and forth for a bit but then like okay. by the last hour or last 30 minutes it was like oh god and now we're getting like okay i think everyone's getting talking tired. in circles yeah yeah gotcha mm -hmm. okay that's well, why he's trying me... to like convict me of robbery and a bunch of other things that was like higher fine i was like uh oh okay i did my first heist um Ooh. and it was an all-girls heist uh sponsored by mickey um uh, and uh, we had three newbies. I, it was me, Velky Ray, and uh, um, Winters. I don't know her stream name. Comfy Girl, I think. Um, so we're very, we're whoa, I, whoa, whoa. probably like the whoa, newest. Whoa, whoa, newest. whoa, whoa. Put some whoa, respect whoa. on Valkyrie, dude. She's an OG. Oh, really? That's but they seat. said, people were telling, she even said she was new, though. Uh, bro, she's chain gang. Chill. She's OG. Okay, listen. Gang, right? All I'm saying <laughs> is we pulled up. Ray and I were supposed to do the hacks. I was supposed to do the like writing one and she's supposed to do the lock picking one or whatever. Uh, we show up and Ray and I, you see us circle around trying to find where to hack. We don't even know where it is. It, it was so bad. It was it, it, like we knew it was going to go bad. Kind of like we, we were expecting to get caught because like we're so new. We have like three new people, me, the newest. Um, and we had two hours to prepare. And people were saying like, oh, that's so long and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but like, I still feel unprepared. <laughs> like, this is a lot. We dressed up in hot pink. Like, literally, like, we did not blend in. Like, we stick out like a sore thumb. Um, our whole story was to go in and like get a hostage. I think we got, what was his name? Does anyone remember? He, he doesn't have an arm. CG. Richard. Yeah. Yeah, he was so awesome. He was a great hostage, honestly. Um, Richard's we're great. it yeah. lighthearted. Uh, the cop was there. Oh, you got my boy Richard. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. When I learned that he always becomes a hostage, I think that's so funny. Um, but anyways, yeah, we we just like we're trying to RP and keep it lighthearted. And whenever negotiations was like having only women cops chase us. Um, uh, so they had Cornwood dress up as a woman, <laughs> which I thought that was good. I think that was like clever, but then the rest, it didn't, it didn't, I don't think they really went through with it, which kind of sucked. Um, and it, yeah, they, yeah, uh, they were not going too easy on us, which sucked, but we got away, but still I was like, damn, like it would have been nice. Cause we were definitely like, it was so unserious that even Richard was like, come on for a woman's month. Like even the hostage was was like try and oh, oh my god and then i said one of the um person's name fiona i said fifi and richard was like oh what and i was like no it was so bad it was cooked sorry anyways that was my rant i just wish the cops kind of like rp or like was easier but i guess as a cop can, can you can you elaborate more on that exactly as far as like um what because i wasn't there right so like oh yeah yeah uh well so what part uh, you feel like the cops went really hard or like what part uh, you feel like well was too difficult? i was just really hoping that they would give us a head start <laughs> but they started chasing <laughs> us immediately uh they did do the no spikes thing they didn't have any spikes we started getting pitted but i learned later it was because uh winters drove over a civilian 
which didn't even notice. Uh, oh. But yeah, so I get that part. Uh, it was just, um, it just, it was, it was men chasing us in the end, which sucks. Oh really yeah, didn't you ask for a woman only for that? Right? Yeah, we it was did. Like the said, yeah. Day or yeah. Yeah. I think... We lied on every negotiation besides spikes. It, it felt intense, but that, I think that's just also because every heist is intense. Yeah. That and then I have to go lay down in bed after. Yeah. What are your thoughts, Sav? Tell me the other uh, perspective. So, so my thoughts is <laughs> um, when I'm going in there, I that's where reading right the room has to play into it, right? If, I, if, I, if obviously, and that's kind of using some OOC information going into it, if I know it's a new group trying to do something new, I'm not going to go as hard, right? I'm not going to go as hard. I'm going to try to play along a little bit, but also I'm going to try to catch you, right? So in the yeah. beginning, it's going to be a little bit easy. It's going to be a little bit of just like, you know, slow. And then eventually when things kind of ramp up, I'm going to get a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, stricter and difficult as far as uh, stop you, right? I'm going to get better and better and better at it, right? So that would be my thought process. Um, and obviously, I wouldn't pit unless there's a reason. And like you said, since somebody got ran over, that makes a lot of sense, right? Yeah. Somebody got hurt. So yeah. that makes sense why they were pitting like crazy. So, but yeah. other than that, I'm glad you got away. At least your first heist, yeah, right? A lot of people so get caught. Yeah. On yeah. the contrary. I'm... Oh, man. Um, oh, we'll <laughs> you know, I do you want to talk about uh, yesterday? Uh, little heist? <laughs> Wait, were you around to see what happened? What Dude, happened yesterday? I was the one who had pull. I, bro, I'm going to be honest. I, I, I felt so bad for you guys. I was the one who had to pull Dude, out me and, We had me a hockey Saikuno, game to go to. Yeah, me and Saikuno were so sad. Like, on oh my God, we were at, like, we felt so low after that because it was just like, oh. uh, What happened? So yesterday was supposed to be Timothy's first heist, right? And you know was supposed to, like, play this, like, shadow leader role and, like, you know, uh, set it up for me where it's, like, where it's, like, um he gave me instructions and he was going to, like, you know... It, orchestrate the heist from behind the scenes he gave me some stuff and like you know he was going to like make me do the heist myself and organize it all on the spot right and make me into this leader position and i thought this was really cool this was an awesome like take on what to do for this because he did a lot of planning for this from what i'm aware of and i was also aware like something cool was going to come out of this and i was really excited to have like timothy like go through this and, and have like a fun time doing this with everyone and give him that experience just he, pretty much throw him into the water and i like that a lot it was stressful it was dude doing all this on the spot with no information not knowing like you know how to set up heist beforehand is just so stressful and i was not prepared for like all like you know the things that could go wrong and just like overthinking about certain things and i was just kind of chilling here um what ended up happening to go wrong first was like you know certain people not being available uh for this but then it ended up working where we had everyone that was a part of this heist being able to make it because it was all people who wanted to do it and didn't do it before so it was like me eli uh uh koji's character kenji um and then clark mason who's I think his name is Flash or something, and uh, mm -hmm. Camilla Salon. So it was all five of us, and uh, we had Hazel join too to be like the swap driver. Everything was set up. We were doing great. Uh, some scuff happened along the way. That was a little... But someone did the laundry mats earlier before us. I think it was SK's mm -hmm. group. Uh, I forgot what their names was. I think SK the, um, did the laundry mat like the right. Manor? Yeah, the manor. They did. They did uh, the laundromats when we were going to do it. So we had to wait like two to three hours to do it. I think I'm not entirely sure. I think somebody else was about to do the uh, laundromat as well. They might have done it. So maybe I think two groups already did the laundromat. So we're just kind of sitting and waiting and just trying to plan in our getaway and stuff like that. And you know, was kind of molding in the background because we were like, wait, why is everyone doing a laundromat today out of all days? when the past week there was like pretty much no one doing a laundromat or something right. like that or like many heists so we picked the worst day to do it there was so many heists going on and like the company even the company was doing a heist that day i was like really there's no fucking way right because <laughs> so we were like losing our minds over that a little bit and then um we finally got the job right and then when we got the job uh we got to join the group and stuff like that and uh we're about to head out and get our hostage that was the first uh or one of the things that was really insanely difficult was that finding a hostage for some reason there's no <laughs> people on the road we kept driving around looking for somebody the first person we found uh was like i think it was harry right and then we were like oh shit we can't take harry we're, like it was me and flash 
we're gonna like pull him in but then that would have been a burnt bridge for sure for our yeah. so we, we just kind of avoid that so we were driving around for like another five minutes we found this elf looking guy right this fella was just chilling on the road we told him to go in the fucking trunk he was scuffed out he couldn't move at all <laughs> we put him in the trunk he says are you in the trunk and he's like yeah we're i'm in the trunk and then he from our perspectives he was just standing there and then it was just very oh like God. it broke the immersion a bit i'm just like no dude there's no way so we had to get out there and drive <laughs> yeah. around a bit and we go to the apartments finally we said fuck it get someone from the apartments right um i think you know kazutora he ends mm -hmm. up walking out and then we grab him um this is uh one of my friends is uh sons adopted sons i believe and uh we bring him adoption along. We fraud. finally get there. Hmm? Adoption fraud there, Shoto. You're guilty now. <laughs> oh, you're you're complicit in it. Keep going. So, yeah. Uh, we bring him along, and uh, he is our hostage for this little heist. We get set up. For some reason, CG shows up there with Mr. K and everybody. I'm like, wait, what the fuck is happening, right? Dude, the fuck? <laughs> so both of us were doing the job. I think it scuffed out and we lost all of our butt coin because because they cut the power when I was about to cut the power and oh, Eli ends up Oh no. Uh, so like both of our butt coin was gone. I don't think it was a, it was like supposed to be where both of us were supposed to like um take the job, right? Because it we, it showed like both of us were on the job, I think. And uh Eli I shot, like Elam was very stressed out because he had like uh, a time limit. He had like a thing to go to. I, I was actually purposeful, I was purposefully sabotaging your guys' heist by uh, I bought hockey tickets like a month ago. So and I knew that this was gonna happen on this day. <laughs> so I <laughs> so I felt bad. Everything for him he was, like, that was gonna go wrong went wrong basically. Yes, yeah. pretty much. And then he was like, I feel bad for the guy because he was actually very stressed out at the moment because he had to get going and like um this heist was in the middle of the we were in the middle of it. I think he misclicked and ended up stabbing Kaz, our hostage, right? And he's just bleeding oh. on the floor. And I was just like, no, Eli, no. <laughs> it was, was so you know too? Can't you use CG's I'm pretty sure hostage? You know. That... You know, was, uh, no, that's what I thought. <laughs> dude, here's what, dude, okay, I didn't realize Mr. K was there. And then I didn't know it was CG until after the fact. And then we're like, okay, we need another hostage. And I look at Mr. K. I didn't know if Mr. K was like, okay, you're a hostage now. And then he looks at me and says, nope, and runs away into the back to continue his heist, right? I thought it was the funniest oh shit. And then I... It, it dawns on me. It's like, oh shit, that's Mr. K. What? I'm and I'm pretty sure we're really we have a good relationship. I'm like, oh god damn it. I hope I didn't. He doesn't. He didn't know it was me. I'm pretty sure mm. uh, in character. So that happens. We had to bring the hostage out, right? Because it wasn't even our job. We brought him to the hospital and stuff like that, and took care of him. And like, we just kind of just you know were depressed afterwards. Uh, we were just so worried because the cops already showed up. we like showed up right after we stabbed, so we thought we were gonna get open fired on by the cops at that moment, and everything was gonna go wrong, right? I saw my life flash before my eyes at that moment. I was like, oh, it's so over. We're getting shot at by the cops now. But no, they didn't. They weren't there and stuff. So it was just a very complicated situation because it was their heist. It wasn't our heist, and we didn't know what to do exactly. So Damn. we just sort of had to deal with the fact that oh, CG got the job. And um, we just, you know, ended off the day without getting to do the heist after f like four to five hours of just like ch setting things up. You guys didn't get caught, right? No, we didn't. The, the okay. cops were focused on CG because there was another oh, hostage okay. there. So we just brought our guy to the hospital and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice of you yeah, because I mean, like, dude it, what do we do there right <laughs> bring the like eli had to go <laughs> asap because he had that fucking hockey game so he had to go and he took a nap and stuff so then we just had to like you know make sure we could take care of things out there and again like we i understood like you know he had that time limit he couldn't help it and like it was just very everything that like sav said everything that went wrong could have gone wrong and like i know you know was like so sad for it too i was like bro this is no way this is gonna be timothy's first heist right like we didn't even get to do the heist technically it wasn't kind of, it's not it's yeah. technically not because you guys didn't have the job so you yeah you we didn't still, have the job you start, yeah, yeah yeah you're still you're still good but you yeah the thing is i think you know still lost the butt coin for it so i'm not Ooh. entirely sure what, how much oh, butt butt coin is it i was like a hundred something or i don't oh know how much longer that is Lord. yeah so Damn. it was just a very complicated situation Wait, like, is that I a felt lot bad for sorry it. Is that a lot? a lot? I don't know. I'm, I'm, kidding, I'm, kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, not everyone like, has. I, a, I've only yeah. learned how to hack. It's 50. So, okay. It's 50. Yeah. Stuff. It's still a lot of Bitcoin, though. Holy mm -hmm. shit. So, yeah. He, <laughs> Should just, I make like, that in like an hour? What? Sorry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> 
It is motherfucker. A no, no, no. I, I, I listen. I think there's actually there are three valuable lessons for you guys as noobs of no pixel here. Uh, number one, um, uh, and this is actually a really important thing to like learn and go with. Hey, the scuff happens. It like scuff yeah. will catch up. Scuff will catch up to us all and catch us all. Um, you're it's gonna happen to you. And the best thing to do. This chat will maul to other people. The best thing you guys can do is you just, hey, it is what it is, and you just laugh it off. Uh, that's I one. did laugh it off. I did that's laugh good. it because it was like it was like overall at the end of the day it was it's like okay this, this was how funny it was like it, a, it was like a comedic <laughs> thing after at the yeah, end like, thing. like we were setting it up to be something cool though and that's why i wanted to be like immersive cool mm -hmm. and like a cool getaway and like you know some drama involved in it too but then it ended up just being like a fucking like shit show <laughs> at the end of the day but it's still content to be honest like that was still good content but man like for t like for me i'm like things that sucks and it feels bad but at least it was still kind of funny but i still feel bad overall because it didn't go the way that it was planned and i felt bad for you know since his character set it all up beforehand to make this thing like uh really in-depth and something really cool uh at the end of the day though like you know scuff like bill said scuff happens it is what it is and like we'll be able to do it again another day and hopefully without the scuff this time yeah and yeah i was even say the, the second lesson i mean from janet you having done the the all women's heist uh, as you guys are sort of new to the server is like learning like all the behind the scenes stuff that goes into content or, or goes into stuff like um, I mean it just it also is where I think like you know and, and, and by the way to you Shoto it's like keep going with it and, and you will just get better at like you personally will also just get better at like organizing stuff doing high like oh my you god will get better like it's it's yeah. a skill failure is your best friend for sure psych throwing to me in the water with that learn. was so good for me and for my character because now i know how it feels to be that stressed out as a leader to organize things and like mm -hmm. how to do it properly and like now i feel like if i did it again i would be much more confident because uh i have like that experience first time now and just doing it like relatively all myself with his guidance on the side too right now i feel like <clears> if i do it again i'd feel a lot better i feel a lot better about it and um it's nice to uh be given that chance to do it right so that's really cool that you know he helped give me that chance uh as timothy yeah i mean learn from uh learn from failures do character development stuff like that mm -hmm. is uh is always good um I was gonna actually, the next question for, uh, unless Tab, you have a question related to all this. Do you? No, go I ahead. Pivot. No. I was gonna say, uh, with that in mind, like, so Janet, what's next for January? Where are you expecting your character to grow? What, what's your, do you have it? Do you, do you plan anything or is this sort of like, you're just going with the flow and you have some loose ideas of stuff? Right now, it's just loose ideas. I think I'm starting to tunnel a lot on making money. Ever since the restock, I'm seeing people with their cool ass fucking cars and I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Now I want it. And so now I'm in a grind mindset and I blame the restock for it. Cause now yeah, I'm but like, why grind grinding. for a car when somebody can grind for it for you, right? So you can have somebody else get it for you. Yeah, you know, so I'm having oh God, difficulties the pay, the pay being feed, like dude. a no. real foods right now. Like, like she's a, uh, it's not going well. The whole, like it's, it's tough. Uh, I don't know way. how. Yeah, I don't know how April does it. She's at like she actually needs more credit because like it is not easy to just have men or women give you money like that. It is not easy. Like people are like smart, you know, like they're just like not going to fall for it or sometimes <laughs> they don't want to RP it or, you know, and so like it's it's tough. Listen, I'll, I'll say this. It, anyone, if you have access to the server and you can get on the server, but if you have a ticket or whatever, anyone can go and grind g6 it is like that's anyone can do that uh Fuck not, g6 not anyone can do what uh what foosley does which is just pure yeah. yap to get money uh it's yeah. the hardest that's the hardest skill uh for it's, sure I, it's hard it's really really hard i've, I've been trying <laughs> uh, it's hard one, one other question I was going to ask you guys, uh, and, and Sab can dive deeper down this route. Mm. We, we talked to noobs of no pixel. So last time we had a, a fan fan on, uh, Elam and, uh, squeaks. And now, you know, we have Shoto, 
Joker bars. One thing I've noticed, and Sav, I don't know why you got, listen, a lot of the gangs and crews will go recruit people. You know, you got the guild looking at Shoto. Yeah, you have various groups that do stuff with, with January. She's a contractor for the company. Where's the, oh, the PD the recruiting, too. Sab? I have. It just happens in DMs, that's all. Oh. Oh. But, 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 but I, I like what you said. I think there needs to be like um, an in-character recruitment in roleplay for a lot of Spitty. I, I wanted to have like a commercial, for example. I wanted to do like something in-game to look so cool. Be like, oh, people can watch something in-game on their phones. Be like, oh, that's what I'd like to be a police officer. Let me go and sign up and get an application. I wanted that kind of roleplay for sure. I mean, Chodo, Janet, would you guys ever want to... Have you guys ever thought like, oh, I want to play a cop make character? Yep, yeah, make a cop character. Yeah, I think I want to understand the city a little bit better before that, though. Oh, yeah. I don't think do I would it. be a good cop. I would like, right? I don't know the rights. I don't know protocols. I don't know anything. <laughs> I mean, we like, would teach would you all that. Up. Oh, right? okay. It's part of the academy thing that you guys have, right? Right, right. Oh, right. You I mean, guys have an academy? Yes. There's a, there's a police academy oh. you go through. I mean, it. Pop RP, honestly, if you're a good role player, it's not difficult to understand because it's more just learning the, you know, the mechanical slash RP side of cop. The rest of it is just all improv and dialogue and conversations and how to be able to talk to people. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, as a character that was like, I don't know, had some similar vibes to January, you can also, it going back into the 3.0 lore of watching clips, there's a, there's a cop character named Peach uh, that definitely was a uh, was more of the like just a uh, complete character um i don't know if i don't, I don't know if peach was ever like a mechanically skilled cop sab uh, no she was a passenger princess for sure yeah oh my god wait okay so i okay because like i imagine january foods as a cop and like i'm like chasing someone and i'm like i get out of the car and i'm like ugh. <laughs> like, I'm tired. You're being arrested. That's yeah, I mean, I mean that, was, that was literally like, that's such an ick. <laughs> there were there were literally nine one one calls with Peach, where she'd be like, oh, "What do you want?" <laughs> yeah. Like, oh my would, god. She would run dispatch god. and be annoyed with people when they called in to the cops. So yeah, she's like a uh, tired okay. employee for sure. I would love to do something like because I don't think I would ever be serious. I would be something like that kind of a cop like. I think for a cop RP, it's just the time and place for it because some people will get like upset because you're supposed to be a cop and helping yeah. them out, but instead you're like, what do you want? Okay. What the hell do you want? Shut the hell up. Right. And then they're like completely taken away by that because, like, wait, what? Aren't you supposed to help me? <laughs> so that's kind of like where it kind of becomes a problem a little bit for people. And then people will complain in character to, to like the higher ups about the PD yeah. to that character because they're not really fulfilling that role and helping them out. Oh my god! I feel like, oh my god, cops That's go through a funny. lot of like stress with this. Oh my. God. Yeah. That that like, is a downside of for sure. Yeah, as far as like uh, cop RPs, it could be stressful. Or it could be a lot of fun too as well. It's like a double edged sword. Mm hmm. I definitely do want to give it a try when I feel like more uh, knowledgeable about the city. When and is this too. academy, or is that something January should figure out in RP? Uh, <laughs> Find out in RP. Well, usually they usually happen like every, like once a month or every two, um, maybe twice every month, I would say, just depending on like how much numbers we need and what is going on as far as recruitment. So it's really, it just varies. Okay. Yeah. It's also one of those things. If you guys ever, Nat, Nat you guys have met Sab, you can always just reach out to Sab and ask him about stuff. True. I, anytime. I, I, I just want to get a lot of unlocks for January. I think that's fun right now. So you just want a metagame. <laughs> but isn't it good to just experience everything and then decide what you want to Correct. do? Correct. No, hundred percent. I think you're yes. taking the right path by learning about the city and everything, how it evolves, then diving deep into it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do right now too, because I still don't know like all the landmarks and stuff like that. When people say like certain landmarks and stuff, I'm like, oh, oh my what the god, fuck is that? I know. I could I'm never like, be a getaway driver. It's I like I, I was listening to the. It takes a while. Bombs, I do like, pink. Pink cage. I'm like, where? Yeah, what the fuck is pink cage? I don't know what, what that is. That? Do you know what's, do you know what's uh, funny about that's... the pink cage? Yeah, Sab, so explain it, actually. Cause I know it because of you guys. Kind of. Uh, the pink, the, the, pink, the, the pink cage is like a 2.0 thing that happened back in the day where um, 
everybody would basically um wake up in this like small apartments uh in 2.0 and um it was like this in front of this bank and everybody lived there it was like the, the ultimate hub for collaboration because everybody started their journey in the apartments you spawned in walked out there was people in there right so the pink cage was like iconic for that because that's how you started your rp journey you met people there and then you formed your groups and then you went on to like go on an adventure to los santos so that's like the iconic part for me for like the pink age. Oh, okay. And the only reason I know it is because all the 2.0 people when I was playing in 3.0 would reference the pink cage and that's how I learned it. So now when I hear it in 4.0, I'm like, oh shit, we're way too many levels removed. They have no idea what the fuck that is. So yeah. That's like two iterations of no pixel ago. Uh, as a like sort of, you know, as, as we're wrapping up sort of as a final look, like what's been like, uh, yeah, not, not even to say a negative thing, but just like what's been like the maybe the most frustrating thing with role player? Like what's the thing that you're like, man, I wish like this was different, whether it's like a server thing, chat thing, community thing. What's like the what's the biggest ick to use a January term? What's the biggest ick of role player right now for you guys? <laughs> not People... having enough clothes. OK, fuck you. You have a lot of clothes, bro. I, I'm no, blocking no. clothes out here. What the hell are you talking no, about? No, Sometimes my like I find a shirt and no arms fit the shirt. It's like, bro. Oh, yeah, dude. I have that issue with like certain pants and like it's just like there's no ankles with the shoe that I want it with. I'm like, yeah. it'd be so perfect if that, exactly. I could just have that shit, bro. Exactly. No, it doesn't, I have, doesn't match up. To me, I have some, some meta for you guys. Uh, reworked core clothing system. We've overhauled the core of the clothing system for a more robust structure. Uh, and that update is actually live now. Uh, there was just a no <gasps> pixel update for. I'm going yes, shopping. <laughs> yeah, it's a shopping day. Most likely. Shopping day. What about what about you, Shoto? What's been your uh, what's been, what's been the ick of role play for you? Um, people telling me how I should play my character. <laughs> That's mm. the biggest thing from like uh, people in the community. Like they they think they know your character better than you do. That and like I mentioned before, because I complain about it, it's just like there's no RP when those people rob me. That's it. Mm. Like that's that's like been the biggest thing so far. That I've been like annoyed about. I'd say. Yeah. I think taking L's is is fun as long as there's, yeah, as long as you get something out of it, like a good experience. Yeah, I'm okay with taking an L. Just like make it, you know, not so boring, I guess, and like so, like just that's all you're here for. Like it's the same people. Like I think um, there's a there's another uh, person who got robbed by the same guy I did, and he robbed him the exact same way. There was like no RP, no substance to it. Mm. It was just, and we we're both just like kind of you know bewildered at the situation and why the, the person did that so it's like oh that's lame it's very lame yeah. sab i'll let you think of any final last questions while i uh ask my last question uh to shoto and x choco bars so you know what that was the ick what's you know, using a i guess jan we'll go with the january theme here what's been the green flag the green flag of role play <laughs> that makes you be like damn i'm gonna keep doing like what kinds of things is are gonna make you guys want to keep doing this? Like, what are you most excited about going forward? Mm, right now, I'm working. Me and Jen are actually working towards a similar goal right now. The same fucking you car. Want the same car, dude. We I can't believe we want the same car. I do. The Comet S2. Comet S2. What is is that? The Porsche? What? Yeah, that's a yeah, Porsche. Yeah, she's so cute. I love it. Yeah, I love that car, and I got to try. January it out. doesn't know car. And how stuff, much is it? So she calls them car breeds. 1.2 mil. No, 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 Janet. Um, I think it costs more now. Why? It was already know. unattainable at 1.2. That makes I no don't sense. Know. I think it's more. Okay, I think it's like lovely. 1.4. Okay. I'm just letting you know if the original comment, like the regular non S2 one, comes in stock, like she's getting that one. because like, 1.2 yeah. million? Oh my. No, 1. No, 1.4 million. Oh, well, let's meet That's a lot horrible. of group six tonight. Before I guess, tax. Right? Well, I'm a grimer. Yeah. I know. I know Janet's a G six or so. Yeah, because I don't have a felony yet, so mm. I might as well do. G6. Yeah, I have. Unfortunately, Timothy has a felony, and I don't want <laughs> expungement because that shit is expensive. And I don't it's think so I need expensive. That. Yeah. yeah, no, Grimes. Grimes get enough. You just can't do it at night. But then you just yeah. hang out at Senior Bun, so mm. it's fine. Yeah, the cop interaction though, like back, like now, think about it, has been like pretty nice. Like they've been uh, really. Oh my god, right. I fucking rem Blau, remember when I told you about the whole Officer Frost thing? What was that? No, it was just like um Timothy's like first no no second like time getting like this ticket. It was such a petty reason. I think like I was doing like some kind of run with uh Gigi 
and uh I was driving because she didn't feel like driving, right? I think I ran a, a light and then I got like such an excessive fine and like two points on my thing, right? And I was trying to be nice about it and I was like, oh, damn it. I got I got like one of those like hard ass cop moments, right? And I think it really bothered me more than it should have. And I was like, dude, I'm, and then my first thought was like, I'm going to get revenge. I, I need to get revenge somehow. This is like, this bothered mm. me more than I ever thought anything ever would in the city, right? It was something very petty. It's just very fucking petty. That was like the one time where I felt like slighted by a cop. And I don't know, it wasn't even that big of a deal. Now I'm thinking back on it. But at the time, I was like, wait, two points and all that just for like a red light? Damn it. No way. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to just say this. Sam, I, I, I learned this like in character because Timothy came up to Mickey about this in character. This dude comes up and is saying he wants to ocean dump a cop. And I'm like, <laughs> and, and Sam, Sam. Sam, I'm, I'm now. I, I think I'm now serious. a little. I think I'm a little bit of a veteran. I have been around for you know now through all three points. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit. Cop pushed like drug trafficking charges on him. Some fucking something crazy. Serious. I'm like, I'm oh <laughs> shit, something it serious. Was tra- it was a traffic ticket, and you wanted. To, oh, okay. Oh my god. My, 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 I, you know one thing that I. I Timothy, you're becoming a criminal. I like it. Yeah, I, that's a yeah, good I'm thinking like. I will say, dude, that, that was a big change in the culture from 3.0 to 4. I, I wasn't there in 2.0, but one change I've noticed in 3.0 to 4.0, and I don't know how Janet, you and Shoto, I know how Shoto has, has thought about it. I don't know how Janet feels. Dude, ocean dumps were like, that was a big, like in 3.0, that was I've like. I've never ocean dumped or experienced an ocean dumping. She's never been ocean dumped yet. Hopefully yeah, ever. So I, I don't know. Yet. Yeah. I in, never. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna happen. I just don't know when. But. I feel like ocean dumping is only appropriate when you stumble on something you're not supposed to, and yeah. it's something like huge, like, like for example, mm-hmm. um, you know, like a Shotan Timothy, you, you like stumble on like a like a chain gang hideout of all their goods, for example, and they don't want anybody else to know about it. Like something yeah. like that, I can see appropriate being for ocean dump versus, you know, I don't like this person. I don't want to remember what happened. I want no consequences. I want to move on. Right. I think um, that is being a bit selfish, in my opinion. Um, because mm-hmm. you're not really giving the role play back to the other person mm-hmm. because now they're like, okay, so what do I do? Yeah. I, it, it, it's crazy. I, you know, we never actually asked Elam this cause I'm pretty sure Elam has been ocean. I don't even know how many times Elam has been <laughs> Yeah. Ocean that's dumped. what my chat's been saying. It's just, I, uh... What is crazy is I have played, I, I have played Mickey as a annoying fucking character and doing all sorts of petty shit. And Mickey left chain gang. I like, I've done some fucking crazy shit on Mickey I've been ocean dumped one time, which is wild to me that like new players like get ocean dumped like all the time. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, as long as role play behind it, it's, it's fine, right? Yeah. Uh, Janet, what's uh, mm-hmm. what's what's the green flag for you? What are you most excited? Oh, wait, wait, you you, you talked about this. You it was the the close, right? Right. Close. Yeah. I mean, September Foos is awake too. That's I just like stuff like that is fun. Every day I try to uh, go up to one person I haven't met yet. And I try to meet someone new and then do an adventure with them. If the vibes are like, you know, checked out. So that's what I do every day too. It's kind of oh, fun. Yeah. I, I, I wanted to take break. I wanted to like do something with Breckers uh, yesterday, but I was just too defeated after that heist to want to do any more that day. Oh, mm-hmm. God. I love meeting new people. Everyone's just so unique and fun. I love just learning about them. Ah. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I, I actually My think that question. is that that is a great way to uh, to go about it. Meeting new people. Sab, go ahead. Uh, what is one thing in role play that you'd like to see be added or that is not present right now that you would like to see? Like, could be in anything. General, could, in general, uh, could be anything. Oh. Damn, I feel like I think of these on the spot and then I just forget and I get over it. But there know, are definitely like, moments where I'm like, yeah, I mind wish this Because I'm a grimer is like the quality like quality of life stuff for like um certain like jobs, you know. Um mm, I know okay. like I know like you know, Octavio and me Octavio goes through a lot of bullshit when it comes to grime. Holy shit. I feel bad for the guy. Uh and like it's just because of like some miss tap on the app and then he can't do the job and just lost so much money because of it right if it's there's like some small quality of life thing to help that for him it would make 
his day and a lot of other people's days better because i think that ruins the vibe for him he's like oh shit he didn't mean to do that but now like he has to deal with the consequences of like misclicking something that he didn't mean to right and like from an rps perspective i feel like you can you know cancel that shop but i don't know like how the devs and stuff feel about like there should be a refund stuff. shop if you submit like a bug report about something you should get your money back for sure yeah that but i don't think he has been oh, getting yeah. refunds for that it's kind of like if it if it scuffs it scuffs and just deal with it type of mentality but i, I would recommend doing like slash bug like they've outdated like the bug mechanic and you can also ask for a refund I, i'm some folks have gotten their uh you know stuff back before in the past so it just depends what it is and really? how you lose it oh yeah. okay so if you slash bug it you should be fine Hmm. Um, All right, I'll, me, I'll keep that in mind. I didn't know. I that. want speaker phones. Speaker phones, dude. Oh, I always yes. forget to relay information sometimes, and it's hard. This whole like, oh, this person said that, and then it's it's just like too much sometimes. But speaker phone would be really fun. Um, and then and then another thing is um. Oh my god, what was it? Oh, you mean like oh, uh, a oh, megaphone? Sometimes phone would be sick, actually. So like, like, like someone you're calls you and like, oh, let me put you on speaker. And you're like, oh, oh. let me put you on speaker. Oh, and like for the phone. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So like yeah. you can hear the entire phone call. Dude, I don't that know how. Add another element oh to RP. Right? Like, you know, so deep. Right? That's so cool. Right? right up. You're so, okay. Okay, well, and another one is, um, um, is, you know how you're on the phone sometimes, but you can't go to other text messages? Like yes. you have to hang up. Like I hate yes. that. Like, that, that has been bug, bug reported. So, okay. the the phone the phone definitely needs more love. I think we need also we need group chats. Yeah. We need like I, I hate texting like twenty different people. The same thing. A group chats will be so nice. Yeah. Like, organize. Yeah. Oh yeah, make a group, group chat. I mean, you yeah. group chat drama and group chat RP. Oh yes. Yeah. I mean, or just like an email system in game instead of just always like using Discord. Mm -hmm. That's true. That'd be nice as well. And then like you could uh. I don't know if there would be a, like an application that you could do that and like change your username and stuff like that. So it doesn't say like it's actually you and like you have a username to be anonymous in those like uh, DMs and shit or group chats. But God, that speakerphone thing is such a good idea because then you could just like put someone on speakerphone and share the conversation. Yeah. They wouldn't even know about it. And that could like add another layer Ooh, to like make good RP. Right? I know, right? You're like a fucking rat if you want to. Yeah, I'm like, alone. Yeah. yeah, I'm alone. Someone can <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that'd be some devious shit. <laughs> Are you got my speaker? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Uh, yeah, I I actually don't know if you guys should implement that. I'm worried about what you and no, we should. Leslie, I'm worried about what Jen and Leslie are gonna cook up with that shit. It's gonna be devious. Um. Anyways, I guys. Support it. Um. I've kept you long enough. Uh, there's a new update on NoPixel that I know you guys are eager to get into. So I want to let you guys yes. go and get to that. New clothes. Timothy, new... pick me up. <laughs> I don't yeah. have a car. <laughs> Not yet. Rent a Not car, yet. pick me up. No, I want to save for the elegy first, I think. Um, uh, by the way, Slacks, have, have January and Slacks ever interacted yet? I'm trying to remember. If you remember. Mm, have I think once in front of like the bank. I think I saw you with April, and then it was just like a, it was just like a small conversation. It wasn't like oh, anything. Oh, okay, that's why. Okay. But can I commit a crime? I'm sure I'll see uh, January. Oh no. <laughs> okay, will do. I, 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 I'm, always... I'm, man I'm manifesting that you get caught, and and Sab is the arresting officer on Slacks. I'm so ha I would that's be so my, happy. That's my worst fear for Timothy right now. If a cop is like, I hope it's not Slacks. I hope it's not Slacks because we have like a what? whole a little a oh. little funny thing going on. It's like a yeah, little flirty. Do. It's like a little flirty, right? And it's like, oh, if he's the one that arrests me or like catches me, it's like he'll be so disappointed and like I'm gonna like, break oh, my arm. No. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and, and, and so, aren't allowed to like you know be easier on people no matter what or who they know, right? Or is that no? I mean, there's always discretion. Like, if you give me some good role play, doesn't matter who you are, I'm gonna try to go easy on you, right? Because like it's all about that give and take, right? And we try to promote that as much as possible. That way, you want to role play with the cops. Yeah, yeah, my, my, my some fun. Right? Yeah, my recommendation oh. for you guys since you guys haven't had too much interaction with them, but yeah, anytime you actually do. Role play with the cops, do stuff with them. It it always ends up being good content. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I always try to. I'm if so I can. happy. If you I know gave them. Corn dog, your phone. By the way, Blau. Oh that my was god. So good. That was so good. <laughs> he was like, "I'm gonna arrest you for disturbing the peace," and I'm like, "Bro, you are so you arrest fucking, me. You are so that fucking disturbs annoying. my peace. So then you get arrested." <laughs> I did not think someone get could it. make. 
Bro, I'm gonna be uh, okay. Now that we're like wrapping up the podcast, guys, I did not know someone could make a more annoying character than Mickey until you made January. <laughs> no, like Holy honestly, man. dude, I'm getting like January. I no, mean, all if absolutely you're annoyed, is annoying. I'm doing a good job. I'm doing yeah, she a really is good actually job. pressing like if, pressing if my buttons. If you feel the annoyed. Amazing. Yeah. I actually feel like oh, I'm RPing right. Like that's good. yes. Like You're... holy fuck, bro. Like the amount of times, like but the amount of no times I'm OOC. hearing you're taking advantage of. It was like holy shit. She's getting away with all, <laughs> away with all this bullshit. You, I, I think you and you and you and Leslie probably make me the character the most. Or or I like it's hard for it, it's something that's like it's hard for me to RP with you guys because I like it's just I I fuck. I'm like ah oh, shit. I don't know. I don't know what to say. You guys are hard in a good way. You guys are hard to RP with. Yeah, it's all love and jokes at the end of the day with us for sure. Uh, I'm gonna have to like I'm gonna have to go to therapy <laughs> to try to play December. This is gonna be a whole fucking <laughs> god. Anyways, Shoto X Shoko Bars, yes, aka Janet. Guys, thank you so much for coming on to Roleplay thank Podcast. You. Dude, this was fun. Thank you for having us. Yeah, I, no, I'm glad I got so like, I, I feel yeah. like. Yeah, no, I feel good. Like, I feel like more well equipped. I feel like I'm not alone with my feelings. Like, I feel like everyone goes through things, the same thing. So it just like makes me feel more validated. So thank you so much for having us. Yeah, and we do uh, we do this every week um, and we do all sorts of different topics. So in the future, we'll uh, we'll hit you guys up to come on to. Uh, this is one where it's just, you know, you guys are complete, you know, noobs to no pixel this time around. So it's just getting to mm-hmm. do general experiences, but we do all sorts of stuff talking about cops versus crims the doj all of these episodes that you the viewers can find on roleplay podcast on youtube sorry that's my last shout out for it um no no do it roleplay podcast youtube.com roleplay podcast podcast, that's right and we will be doing more upcoming episodes uh there someone has hinted at me that we should do a uh, a foods family uh podcast at some point so oh uh, you should hit that who hinted that yeah they're genius um <laughs> anyways if you guys want quickly uh shout out your channel shout out your characters before we wrap this up i'll let you guys go ahead okay oh switch.tv slash shookstow <laughs> Shook or s-h-x-t-o-u what a beautiful name yeah thank you god i'm I'm still cringing at it because i thought like the x's could be o's instead and stuff like that i'm like oh yeah that's a Dude, cool idea i'm x choco bars yeah, I- yeah, You're we had the fine. same idea. <laughs> You're fine. No one calls you Choco or X Choco. No, they call ever. me it's Janet. Janet. Yeah, I always know yeah. you as Janet. So people yeah, always what... fuck up and call Sab January call... Janet. <laughs> Sav called you Choco. And I was yeah, like, I lost it for a bit. I, I had to mute. So no, I was like, <laughs> what Choco? I'm not, I'm not supposed to call her Choco. No, you it's, can. It's... You can. It's just not. Um, it's not a common thing. Oh, I see. Okay. Yo, yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start calling you X Cho. What's up, X Cho? Is that cool? All right, yeah. That's oh, crazy. that pisses her off. Ew, Easy. I hate that. No. Just call me Choco. No problem, X Joe. Uh, and then also we have our, our lovely co-host. Go ahead and introduce yourself again for the people. Roleplay podcast. Thank you. Twitch <laughs> okay. TV slash Ab. Uh, thank you always for inviting me. Love to be part of this roleplay podcast. Guys, thank you so much. I'll let you guys uh, go and get back to your degenerate RP addictions. Bye, everyone. Yes. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.